This instructional video will demonstrate the recommended application and removal of the ManoShield disposable catheter sheath for use with ManoScan high-resolution esophageal manometry catheters. Please maintain and refer to the instruction card supplied in each box of ManoShield catheter sheaths. Before beginning the procedure, be sure to thoroughly wash your hands and put gloves on, following your facility's procedures for infection control. Application of medical grade talc. Before the talc is applied, use one of the provided antiseptic wipes to wipe the full length of the catheter. Rotate the catheter and wipe again. Use the supplied wipe only. Place the catheter securely on a clean towel table or workstation and leave there for a minute or two until completely dry. Warning, failure to allow the catheter to dry completely may cause clumping of talc and subsequent errors in the manometric pressure readings. A thin, even coating of the supplied talc lubricates the catheter surface and facilitates application and removal of the manoshield from the catheter. With the catheter on a clean towel table or workstation, gently fold the supplied talc-infused sponge over and wrap around the ManoScan catheter near the 100 centimeter mark. Slide the talc sponge with light, even pressure down the length of the catheter to the tip. Repeat if necessary to assure complete coverage of the catheter with talc. Do not allow the catheter to touch the floor or other surfaces. The goal is to apply a light, even coating of talc along the entire length of the catheter. Application of ManoShield to the ManoScan catheter. Pinch the blue cuff of the ManoShield to create a round opening. Do not insert the catheter into the blue cuff while still flat. While standing or working with the catheter draped over your clean, flat work area, hold the ManoShield near the catheter tip and carefully insert the tip of the catheter into the sheath. Slowly slide the catheter into the sheath, guiding it along the length of the sleeve. Be careful not to apply too much localized pressure to the sensors during the ManoShield application. Stop when the catheter reaches the blue dot near the distal end of the ManoShield. There will be some slack sheath at the end. Pinch the slack sheath tip to remove all air and fold the tip of the sheath back over the blue dot. It is not an issue if the blue dot falls off. Hold the folded sheath tip in place while picking up the blue slider with your other hand. Removing air from the mana shield. This step ensures that any trapped air inside the sleeve is removed. Trapped air will show as artifact on the software. Holding the plastic slider with the silicone tab pointing away from the catheter, gently insert the distal tip of the catheter with folded back sheath tip into the slider. In a smooth motion, pull the slider up the entire length of the catheter until it reaches the blue cuff of the sheath. Do not pump the slider back and forth. Straighten out the sheath if it bunches up, and then proceed with the slider. Warning! Do not move the slider past the blue cuff of the sheath. If the slider passes the blue cuff, the sheath and slider must be removed and reapplied. Holding the slider, grasp and stretch the silicone tab and wrap it three times around the catheter at the bottom of the slider. Secure the silicone tab to the slider by inserting the hole in the tab over the peg or button on the slider. If the tab is not secured against the base of the slider, it may cause the catheter to bend. You are now ready to pressure calibrate the catheter and then intubate the patient and perform the procedure. It is recommended to use the catheter within 20 minutes of applying the sheath to avoid any sheath relaxation and spontaneous reinflation of air between the sheath and the catheter. It is not uncommon for the initial pressure calibration to generate an error with a properly applied and snug fitting manoshield. If you do receive an error message, simply press the Start Calibration button again to recalibrate. Use half-inch micropore plastic tape to secure the catheter to the patient's nose. Do not use paper or silk tape as these are difficult to remove from the mana shield and may cause a tear in the sheath. After the procedure, remove the mana shield. 
remove the tape from the catheter and patient and extubate without touching the sensors. Dangle the catheter in the air while still recording to enable a thermal compensation application in the analysis program. While the catheter dangles freely, use a clean hand to stop the recording and save the study to file. No external pressure should be applied to the catheter after extubation while it is dangling. After a few seconds, the catheter may be placed on a protected surface. Detach and unwrap the silicone tab from the slider. Hold the manoshield in place on the catheter by lightly pressing the blue cuff of the manoshield to the ruled tubing section of the catheter with one hand. With the other hand, pull the slider down the length of the catheter and off. Take care not to allow the manoshield to bunch up in front of or under the slider, as this may make the slider removal difficult and may damage the permanent outer sleeve of the catheter. If the sheath bunches up a bit, gently pull the distal tip of the sheath to straighten it and ease the removal of the slider. Dispose of the slider. Loosen the blue cuff part of the sheath by moving it down a bit and slowly work the manoshield down and off the catheter by gently pulling the distal tip of the sheath. Do not bunch it up. Work it off gently so as not to cause a tear. Place the catheter on a designated clean area utilizing a clean towel or hospital pad. Do not insert the catheter into the calibration chamber or lay on the surface of the Manoscan unit until it has undergone high-level disinfection. Discard the Manoshield and send the catheter for high-level disinfection per the instructions for use.